basically the only way to play the limited jumpstart is like you can't win any packs at it. You just basically are just buying singles. Could be. Could definitely be a deranking stream. I'm going to try to be a little bit more open to different decks, but, you know. Like, if this were a Llanor Visionary, I might take it and try to not go green-white because I'm passing a bunch of white, but I don't even want Pride Malk in, in many decks that aren't green-white, so. I'll take this Pack Leader, I guess. I'm not even sure it's... Yeah, maybe I should just take the Accolade. Pack Leader. Fuck it, I'm just taking the Accolade. Slate, I guess. Oh, that does not sound like anything I want to play. A we are many. Why not pack leader? I think accolades probably better. Was my thought. I don't like white red where pack leader is the best. So for me, I felt like Accolade was probably better if I end up white green or white blue or white black. Any of those basically except white green. I mean, except white red. I think Accolade's probably better. I kind of want to just start playing these decks without short sword because I feel like I keep getting these fucking hands. I have to mulligan, and I always get like a hand with like four land and a short sword on the mulligan, or I have to put back my land, and I have like basically a hand with like one creature, and it dies, and I'm left with this short sword, and da da da. And now here I am, where there's basically no no good cards besides a short sword. I don't care. I don't want it. I want cheap creatures is what I want with accolades. I don't like white red. But I don't know what else to take. I feel like I should take this. It's just so much better than the dog. But it might be stupid. Whatever. It's too good with the accolades. I think I'll take this. This thing is going to do a lot. I don't I don't play the mud, but they always played against me too. Another card I don't really want to be playing, just a one three, but I don't know. I mean I'm not gonna play that awful tapper unless I get a lot of flyers. And the flyers in green white are pretty bad. I really just want cheaper stuff when I have the accolades. It's all I want. But... I have a feeling I'm not going to be happy with the end result of this deck. So I don't know what. It's going to be green white, I'm sure. At least specifically now with the second Tyranodon. I can't give up on two accolades. That's my best chance to win. 
Oh, it's definitely going to be green light. Fucking veto is so good. Yeah, can't really do anything with it, though. I even have a single black card. It's double black to activate. Can't, cannot use it. It's unfortunate. I don't want to play any of this stuff over here, but all right. Take this visionary. Okay. Cards are getting a little bit better at least. Yeah, I saw that. I actually spoke about it. I just hope they don't take away this at the same time. If they have cues for both, that's cool. Like I might even play some of them, but I don't I think it'd be pretty stupid to have rank it's already stupid to kind of have rank best of one. And if you're gonna keep taking away the, the normal format, it makes it even even stupider. The calendar said that the calendar showed both, but that calendar has proven to be wrong in the past. So, yeah, if they have both, that's cool. You got a pretty positive outlook on it, don't you there, Gary? I'm not so sure it's going to last that long, but we'll see. I was, I th and now I think I'm wrong about my prediction that I'm not going to like my deck. I actually think I might like my deck at the end of this. I don't know how after my start, but it looks like I might end up with a deck I actually like. At least something I can tolerate. If I have to play this, it might not be the end of the world. I have an elf. I prefer to play maybe one guile as it sits, unless I get more like mentor type cards to protect. It's certainly true that it does that. I mean, I enjoyed those formats, so I mean, I'm, I'll probably try to play it some. I think it's, I just think that they should always have the current thing as well, if they're going to rank it. Can't really like rank, like, I mean, there's a lot of people that are playing right now, they've probably never even played Dominaria or whatever, for sure. So like to take, to make that the only way to play rank is crazy in my opinion. But it doesn't sound like that's what they're doing, so. I draft a lot of blue green, just not on here, but I was willing to try it on here. I would take this if the Tyranodon was in there. This deck seems pretty good. Seems like it's getting there. I would like to maybe cut my wing there in a, in a Ranger's Guile. Jesus. Well, the Rangers guy just got a little bit better because I can protect that. I would like to cut my wing there if I'm playing all this stuff. I kind of like my growths with the life linkers, and I have a trampler, so I don't hate them. Second mauler is fine. 
And right now, this is probably the deck. And maybe play one more card or something. I would, like I said, I'd like to replace this just because I'm going to have a lot of spells, I think. All of my rewards are just jokes, just little jokes. If you clicked on it, it gives a it gives a thing. Wow, it gives a description. It's just an inside joke. Nothing's worth anything. I don't know if they said overall, but they said that they said it decreased like I, I don't know. It di divided the player pool or something, you know. Well, that you can get that with the cold brew. If there's ever a Grand Prix I'm at, I'll meet anybody anyways who wants to come up and say hi. The cold brew Geo just was like, oh, I'm going to come see you guys. We're going to go out to dinner. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then he ghosted me. I will not meet you, though, if you, if you redeem the cold brew. It guarantees we don't meet. It guarantees a non-meeting. All right, I've kind of lost track of everything I had. I picked up a few more playable potentials here. Such as the swamp. I'm playing the swooper. I could see cutting a mauler. I would like to cut my wing there. I could see cutting like all this shit. Not that it's bad. Training, I guess I should play one at least with three Tyranodons. Do have these at least, but I really don't like a lot of trainings. One seems better to me than a bigger number. And I like growths, but I want to have plenty of creatures. Shatter Jack, thanks for the follow. Yeah, 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 I get it. Min Pen, thanks for the follow. Another reason that, like, I don't mind them, I, I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words. I'm, I'm out of my mind. I'll probably just play it like this. Oh, it's because I kind of almost wanted 17 land, but they kind of draw cards. I don't hate the vine with three Tyranodons. I can sack if they to go to kill it, but that's probably pretty random. All right, and this will be my, my deck. I wish I had a couple more things down here if I'm going to play the two trainings, but I can just mulligan hands, I guess. And I could play this thing, but man, he stinks. I have one seed striker with him. To make him do things. I just wish I had one more two drop instead of like one of these, and then I'd be happier with the trainings. But yeah, this doesn't seem too bad. I don't have any idea. My lands get screwed no matter what I do. go back to these. These have worked for me before. Let 
No, I definitely don't want to use speed, but I don't care if I turn it on on turn four, really. What I want is not to draw a hand with a training and nothing to put it on until turn four or five. I was 100% going to put in one training. The second one I could see is a liability. Like if it was a, I'm saying it could be a Titanic growth instead, basically. Whereas if you don't get to play it till turn four or something. Now that's a tier list that would be constantly rotating. You would, you and me, neither one of us could keep up with that tier list. I promise you, there is not. That would be in constant state of flux. I got to better pick some new planes, huh? Blue, red. Of course, the two lander that may not ever get there that you have to keep. What's up, Duck? Fuckers. Give me a goddamn land. You gotta be kidding me. It never worked, man. I mean, I'll be heading out. Gary, Gary had to over. He, he was way over on this. This might be a game and out, in and out game. Real short, I got a feeling. Real shortest ever, perhaps. I just defy math in the arena. You just literally defy math. Non-stop, one way or the other. But don't worry, if I play another game, I'll try, I'll, I'll have, have plenty of them. Oh, God. Of course, I'm just going to be too late now. Yeah, too late. Oh, cool. Shock and, and the other thing. I take it you're smart enough to cast that. That's all you got to do, man. Boy, oh boy. This kind of deck just can't fall behind like that. I mean, it should almost never fall behind a red-blue deck like that, really. But if it does, ain't no coming back. Which is another reason I don't love these trainings. They like, yeah, I can enable my dino, but if they just kill it, then I've taken like two turns to have nothing on the board. I mean, obviously that's not exactly why I lost that game or whatever, but if I if my hand was better, and I and that was my turn three, like, it can punish me. Oh, there's Geo. You're in time to see me draft a good deck and draw no lands and then probably draw all lands and then whatever. Maybe win a game here and there. If I'm lucky. This is another thing. Every little thing that I talked about. The two training hand with nothing to put it on. A 
real short night. Blink, you're going to miss it. Yeah, so you just have no way to deal with this. I've got a 1-1 one, one in play. <laughs> Ain't going to work out. As of now, I'm going to be suiting it the fuck up, but we'll see. Yes, they are. They're beating me mighty fast. Got my lands. Draw some more, and then he'll kill my striker. I said I'm never playing short sword again if I can help it. But I don't know. I thought I could play some of the other stuff. Maybe not. Looks like I can beat the guy who just does nothing. Maybe at least. Short sword's great. I love it. It should be great in a deck like this. But on arena, I keep getting these hands. If I ever mulligan, it seems like I get the hand that's like four lands, a short sword or whatever. I have to bottom a land. Then I play this short sword. Then they kill like my one creature and I just sit there and do nothing the whole game. Also, if you're of the opinion that they draw a couple hands and give you one for the hand smoother, which I'm not of that opinion, it shouldn't be a big deal. But if they go through and kind of pick and pull shit out of your deck, which is and design you a hand semi-randomly, which is kind of what I think they do, they're counting that short sword as like your one drop and stuff like that. And they're like, you're getting it more often in your hand and you might not get other cheap stuff to go with it because they're like factoring all this stuff in. I don't know. That's kind of what Queen D was saying, I feel like. Sees them as two drops. No. I think they change it all the time for one. I don't need evidence, man. I, you don't have to believe it. I don't care. I don't even know what I believe. I do know that I believe that it's not just like they draw up a couple hands and pick one to give you. I mean, they've said that casting costs and all sorts of shit like that matter. What's up, Ian? Oh boy, we're tootling. Oh, 
all three colors here. Easy peasy, huh? I'm not trying to convince anyone of it. Shit, I don't even know it, you know. I also don't know really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm just casting some shit. Well, I should have a good turn coming up soon. I don't know if it'll be enough. Yeah, they don't have to. This isn't a game of chance, though. Like they, they don't. Con, they've made it. I think where legally it's not like gambling at all or whatever. Hand and haze. I mean, if he has a haze, I'll just die. I don't know, man. Fuck it. I'm trying to put shit on the board. This works since I tried to set this up a bit. Easy twenty pro black can't can't do that. He's going to have to flip it for real here. Yeah! Fuck your coin! That's what I'm talking about, Geo! I like it. A good student, Pardister. I don't need any of those cards anyways. I think Seed Striker's pretty good anywhere, really. As long as you have some pretty cheap creatures. I can't get the two drop, but it's at least functional hand. You see that? That's turn three. Nice. By all means.
pick. That's why the death puncture is gone. So you can growth over top of it, scythe or whatever. I guess I have the feet as well, but <clears throat> okay. Through a land, I'd probably play the snout there. It's fine. Great here against just another big creature. I like to see this. Outside, thanks for the follow. Didn't want to change that. Hell yeah. At first I was wondering what you were playing, but draft makes sense for all. Oh yeah, I just do draft here. All right, I guess. Hand's kind of weak. A lot of blue black. Yeah. Not easy falling behind the blue black deck here. I'm gonna try to protect this striker, I think. Could gain the life there potentially. Yeah. Might be big or not. Land would help. I'm running it out there. I don't love it, um, but I have some creatures like, like the striker and like the two mentors that I think are worth protecting. So that's the main reason I put it in. Fuck. I'm too far behind now. that and I didn't have anything better.
can also discard a big creature to pump that grub up to something huge, which would basically just crush me. Such as exactly that. Cool. Alright, I mean, I'm basically just dead. Needed a land there to have any chance, I think. I'm just going to give up. Nobody plays five mana removal in best of one anymore, though. I mean, not many people. I've never played anything like that. No, I just play Magic. Magic, and I've played poker or other card games, basically. Never played anything else on a computer or anything like that, really. Why would I be good at that? Isn't that like just speed clicking and stuff? Like, I've watched people play it. It seemed like... Not for me, but is it? I didn't see like where I thought the, the skills would translate at all from what I saw, but maybe you're right. I guess I did draw a two drop. Here we go. This is going off. Forest? Come on, man. Can't you kick my ass and not make me feel like you got super lucky three-color fucking forest deck now? Come on. I don't feel like I'm, I can leave mana up here. Brutal, though. I need to draw a fucking forest. I've got some in my deck, though. This guy's probably got fucking two of them or something. Yeah, truffle snout. Cool. Game four. Make a million other fuckers. Motherfucker. If I had a forest, I have, can present lethal. He has no idea I can do that much damage. Can't do anything about it. Can you get him in? Yeah. Maybe I can perform the old bitch and win. We'll see. Be nice. And this deck has struggled mightily. Seems like I probably can can produce a bitch and win here. Barring that one black mana combat trick.
think that matters because I'm first striking any lifelink he tries to put on it. That ain't enough. Go, striker, go. Still never drew, well, I did draw a fourth land, I guess, but it was a white land, so I didn't, couldn't tap it for now. Kind of the only way I can win with, is the striker, because I never get past three lands. So that's the only way I have to kill people, really, is that one card in my deck. I have to be a combo deck somehow because I can't just cast more than a couple of cards in a game. It's the only way of dealing a big amount of damage I've been able to produce. I like growth better, if for no other reason than it doesn't get blown out so much by a feeder resistance. It's worse versus death touch, I guess, but uh, I like the growth. Plus, you have more trample usually in a green deck, so it plays out better. You can blow out red, red removal. Only thing wrong with this is I'm on the draw, but that's okay. Hopefully it doesn't flood out. There's the imp. Always with the imp. The imp, the imp, the imp. Could have I could have waited on that, but I thought it was okay not to. Did he give a reason for it? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't play that much red. I just feel like growth is almost always better. Or almost always good in my green decks. I don't know if Sure Strike's always good in the red decks. It might be. I mean, the reason I can see is, is Death Touch, mostly, for uh, Sure Strike. I mean, he might, I, I don't have a strong feeling on it, so he might have a, a good reason. I don't know. Maybe if you have like a Naki Ogre or something, it's better. Kills a Dreadmaw and lives. Yeah, it is better against a Leaf Link. That's true. That's a point that I didn't consider.
not really a big jump you lose you fall like that too even play a land for a cap on turn three. Sixteen, which I think is plenty. Fuck me. Jesus Christ! You know I'm busy. What? What is it? What do you possibly hey, need? Was, well, listen to me. I blew out a fuse, so when you're done, I need you. I need help. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Everything's lighting up. Oh, God. That uh, probably beats me. Maybe if I draw land. <sighs> Seriously? They make it mighty hard to double spell in the arena. about grinding but just attacking and killing maybe I got trouble snout to gain life bouncing now don't seem to matter much to me it's basically lava axe unless he has a way to kill me like sure strike type thing I have to play this I think
think I can beat Frost Breath. I guess he doesn't have Weasel next turn. I don't know. Frost Breath's the card that's bad for me. Might tap the accolade to go for one if you want. Yeah, I didn't want to see it. I don't. I could have put a counter on another one, but then I might lose to a different card. Uh, maybe I don't. That might have just been a punt, a straight punt. Could have tried to. I don't know. Might have just been a punt, like I said. Now, if I just get killed this turn, it's bad, obviously. sure if I could have done much else. Well, if he doesn't have shock, might be okay. Another frost breath. Okay. So he has to draw shock. Surprised I won that. All right, I have to help her with this. So I'm going to turn off my. That is what I think is the culprit. This is my box. Open it up. Open it up. <sighs> this shit. It's all this shit. All right. So I think that that one went bad, but there, I'm 0% to be able to fix it myself anyways. Good, good, good. Glad to hear it. I'm better at some things than others. Yeah, I think it's probably the breaker, but I have no idea how to do it myself, so yeah. It's not that great of a video, is it? Yeah, I'm not about to do that. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, you can't believe how little I know what I'm doing when it comes to something like that. You, you, you probably would not believe it. Now, I will say one thing. When I was out there flipping the shit around, I left it off for a little while before I flipped it back. And I got a flicker, a green light flickered when I moved it back. So I don't know if that's like a sign of hope or if I should leave it off and then try it again later or what. Yeah, I mean, I tried to make that part funny. I knew what I was doing. They do like to shit in that room, though. I don't really consider it the shitting room. 
but that's often where they'll, where they'll defecate when inside the house. Yeah, I'll probably go turn it back off. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not about to do that, Ogwest. Zero odds of that ever happening. I understand that's the process to do it. I will just not be participating in that. But after I kick this guy's ass, assuming I do the ass kicking, I will go back out and switch it off. The ogre or Nake. Shuts me down. Fucking A, man. Two ogres? No, uh, he doesn't want to play. He doesn't want to play with me. 